This video is to demonstrate how easy it is to set up and start using the Unistellar EV scope. So start by removing the tripod from the very nice padded backpack that you can get with the telescope. And then of course uh, remove the scope itself. Extend the uh, tripod legs. Watch out for your cat assistant. Set up the legs somewhere. Um, you'll need to get the tripod level, but they include an integrated bubble level. So just check and adjust the legs to get it to get it level. And then uh, grab the scope, and you're going to set it into the tripod, and there are two knobs to uh, secure it in place. So then hold the uh, power button for a second, and release, and we've got power. Give it a moment to boot up, and then um, removing the... Uh, the telescope dust cap and the eyepiece cap. And then by now you can find the, the scope's Wi-Fi network and connect to it. Sorry about the overexposure here. But just connect to the, the scope's Wi-Fi and then launch the app. It should uh, take a moment to find the scope. Once you have a connection, you can use the virtual joystick to pull the telescope down off of the vertical so that we can do an alignment. At this point we would need to have at least a basic focus, but I skipped this step since it was still in focus from my last session. So once we have it down on a field of stars, we click the button to start the alignment. I've sped this up here, but it takes about 30 seconds or so. And once it's finished, we can go ahead and choose a target. So I've picked the uh, Running Man Nebula here. I'm going to go ahead and hit go to and start it to slew on over. Now that can take a minute or two depending upon where you start from in the sky, but I sped up the video about 8x here. Once the target is in sight, start up uh, enhanced vision here where it will start stacking the um, exposures to bring out some detail. Um, this is also sped up about 8x and it's showing a, a sequence over about 8 minutes. And of course this is the view that you get from the phone. And then this is the same view on the phone but displayed in real time as it's uh, generating the image. Now via the eyepiece you get to watch the same image being generated as you see on the phone but it's cropped into a circular form to fit the shape of the eyepiece. So here's a little video clip from an entirely different session to give an idea of what that looks like. Um, of course, it's not really representative since this is a camera trying to capture the view through the eyepiece onto the display. If you choose to actually save the image generated, you have a choice in the app of either saving this uh, circular crop form with the caption around it, or you can save the uh, full frame that was generated. So here's a few more unmodified views coming from the EV scope. If you'd like to get uh, lots more information on what it's like to use the EV scope, I've provided a link in the description for this video below.